Hey guys, so in the book of Matthew, the 19th chapter, we meet a rich guy. And this rich guy comes to Jesus and says, Look, um, good teacher, tell me, what, it, what must I do to have eternal life? And whenever Jesus hears this, you know, he tells him, Hey, you know, you obey the commandments. You, don't, you do the things that you're supposed to do, blah, blah, blah. And he says, I've done all this since I was little. What still must I lack? What, what, what problem? What, what does I still need to do? Because he knew deep inside of him that he needed something else. And so Jesus uh, looks at him, right? It says that he looks at him, right? Had compassion on him and tells him, go and sell everything you own and then give that to the poor and come follow me. And this rich man went away sad because he had a lot and he didn't want to give up a lot. And I think about this and I think, man... That guy is a perfect example of someone being at 211. See, water at 211 degrees is just really hot water. Like, it's just hot water. But at 212 degrees, water starts to boil. And that's whenever transformation happens. Transformation happens when the water starts to boil. Now, all of a sudden, water's turning to steam, and it's actually changing. And so that being said, a lot of times we can be we can be pretty warm and we can feel pretty good about being pretty warm. This guy, he felt pretty good about being warm, but he knew that there was something about it, something that was missing. It was something that wasn't changing. And so he says, hmm, I'll go to the teacher. I'll go to Jesus. I'll ask him. And Jesus looked at him with love and said, look, you know, like the one thing that you're holding on to, the one thing to get you from 211 degrees to 212 degrees is the fact you love your stuff too much. Let go of it. And he says no. So I think about it. I'm like, what is in my life? What is in, what's in your life? Um, what is it that's stopping us from being at 212? Stopping us from changing. Stopping us from moving to the next step. And so as you start to, to look at your own life, like think about it. Like if, if you were to ask Jesus, hey, look, Jesus, I've been, I've been following the commandments. I've been doing things. What do I lack? What's he going to say? And are you willing to give that up? Because in the end, it's all about getting Jesus. It's all about getting Jesus because Jesus is eternal life. What this guy was looking for was staring him right in the face. And he said, no. It's not worth it. All of us are going to have to come to that realization that either we're going to say it's worth it and we'll give up anything or it's not worth it. So thanks for taking a minute.